Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to an EVE Online video. Today's video is going to be a post commentary on an exploration run that I had a couple of days ago. I want to share it with you guys because it's basically as good as you can hope for when you're doing exploration in uh, Highsec. So here we go. The first site that I find is a 4 out of 10. Um, it's Sansha. So these are a little bit trickier, but um, I start out with uh, focusing on the frigates. Uh, the last thing that you want to do when you enter this site is to um, is to see these uh, frigates run underneath the guns of your um, of your sentry drones uh, because then of course you have to start switching drones no what you want is you want to target all the frigates as quickly as possible and take those down first it's pretty important for the efficiency of running the site in the ishtar so that's what i'm doing here i'm actually pretty lucky they're hitting decently well better than what i'm used to so don't always expect this kind of tracking from your guards but on this run they really did a pretty damn good job taking out all of those frigates and um maybe one tip that i can also give you guys is before you start uh, putting individual drones on individual ship give an f command um on uh, on uh, so that all of them shoot one target the reason is that after they destroy their target they will automatically uh, switch to something else that has aggroed you and in this case as you can see here they've been switching decently well they also hit another cruiser a couple of times but by now we are uh, clearing all of these frigates and so it's uh, it's pretty relaxed now we can just take care of these cruisers they're still at 20 kilometers off or more so it's pretty easy to take these guys out with the sentries they're pretty much on the optimal i don't get too many misses anymore and um that makes for a pretty smooth uh, experience here so far uh, i did choose to stay on two cruisers at the same time because they both had damage now if you do this uh, at this point uh, when you have fully uh, tanked cruisers against you it's not such a good idea in my opinion you want to uh, get as many of them out of the way as quickly as possible and that means that even in this situation where you saw they, they had just a, a small sliver of structure left um, it is still better to put all your drones on one of these cruisers because that's going to limit their own rep cycles if you blast through all of their armor in just a few volleys they don't get the chance to rep back as much as what you would have if you would put two or three drones on a cruiser and uh, just wait it out like that i uh, just need to do a little bit of repping for the shields but as you can see it's also pretty damn manageable um, the reason why this is a post commentary and uh, not a live commentary on the video is that from time to time i also take some footage just like that while i'm playing a for the sunday recap where i of course uh, take a look back at my entire week in gaming and this was a case of oh well i find a four out of ten you know i've been doing some exploration let's get the footage going so that i can share that in the sunday recap but as you can see here it's all been going decently smoothly i even managed to uh, record some of the explosions of the cruisers which are pretty cool and it's it's just going well all we can do now is is go to the second room as quickly as possible and hope for some good load of course which is why, the reason why most people do their exploration in EVE Online so again there you go look at that explosion very very nice see these phantasm hulls blow up like that and my drones they're still doing a really good job even uh, when they close in at like 15 17 kilometers uh, they still hit decently well as you can see here shields are gone in a couple of volleys then it's just halfway through the armor and then here only two hits but still the armor is basically gone one rep from the enemy he's in structure and now he should be blowing up um, then of course recall your drones head back activate activate your micro warp drive and get there as soon as possible and on the warping what you want to do of course is try to spot that true sansha hull because that's basically your one and only target the one target that will get you some uh, potentially really good loot so off we go full speed towards the gate as fast as we can um you can be a little careful here for your capacitor right the second room is uh, quite intense especially towards the end but 
In my experience, it's okay even with a quarter capacitor if you warp in. At first, you are at like 40 kilometers away from them and they're just gonna keep missing, giving you plenty of time to regen some cap, to regen the final part of your shields. So there is no need to wait in the first room to be at full cap, to be at full shields. You can risk coming in here. To spot the true Sansha, deploy your sentries and uh, start attacking that one. I use a mobile tractor unit in something like the Gila. You pro probably want to rush towards the ship because it has a better tank. And uh, then you can scoop the loot a little bit more quickly. You can add your missile damage. But I enjoy this play style. I enjoy when uh, I can just sit there, let my drones do the work. Uh, it's only one um, attack system as well. It's not both missiles to manage and uh, a drone flight to manage. Um, they're also right next to you, so you don't have to pay too close attention to where they're going. And here is something that doesn't happen very often, but it's pretty cool. Um, there is some drone tanking happening here. One of my sentry drones is basically the focus of the enemy fleet. And uh, they've not been doing a good job at hitting it. Just a little bit of shield damage so far. And the armor of the true Sansha is actually gone. Uh, second target that I take is always a cruiser. Why? You don't want to accidentally one-shot a frigate and then have your mobile tractor unit take the wrong wreck. If it happens within the same tick, I've had it happen. And so this is why now I switch to a cruiser right away so that it doesn't happen by accident. Of course, after that, you can, you can try to take on a few more of these frigates. But in my experience, they tend to be... Uh, decently uh, close by then and at full speed still you know this is like my optimal run so I actually do get a couple of kills on all of those frigates despite the fact that they're closing in pretty quickly as you can see I'm not taking too much shield damage my one sentry drone has done a really good job so I'm calling it back a little bit of preemptive wrapping and you can see the wreck coming in this is always the moment of truth what do we get out of this and as you will see it's pretty damn awesome. So the loot is in there. I do one misclick, but let's open this up. 117 million. That is definitely the type of drops that you want to see from a 4 out of 10. And uh, that was a pretty damn good start. So at that point, you get out, of course. Uh, when you're warping, you can cut your shield. Your shield repair. And off we go uh, into space now. At this point, I was like, well, this is definitely pretty good. I might be able to do something with this video. And with the new uh, end cards on YouTube, what you want to do is you want to leave like 20 seconds of footage so that you're not talking while you have the end card. So I thought, well, let's maybe quickly uh, take a quick look at the footage. So here are drones. Um, you, you'll probably do okay with just a flight of smalls, mediums, larges, and then, um, and then your sentry drones. I use almost my, uh, my sentry drones almost exclusively. But this is the, the site right after that. Uh, the next site that I find in the same system of Tashinaz, you can still see that the loot value is up there, is a 3 out of 10. So of course I rush in that, I press the record button and uh, I'm pretty lucky. It's not, uh, it's not uh, started, it has not been started by anyone else. And here I quickly revise my tactic a little bit. So what I used to do was first take care of of the um, of the turrets that are firing missiles and, and bad stuff at you they actually do a decent amount of damage but the damage is so low and manageable that the better tactic is to once again go after the frigates right away oh uh, that's a plan on the on my desk uh, just leave those um, those those turrets for later you don't want any of those frigates to get under your sentry guns and so just focus on those as much as possible. I leave the uh, True Sash Foreman for the, for the last. Um, this is a little bit of a risk, right? Assuming that someone else comes in, they might still be able to steal it. But in my experience, as you can see here, when you're a little bit lucky with the tracking, which I was definitely on this run, um, it's so fast that the chances that someone else is going to come in are pretty damn low. Um, with the rest of the frigates decently far away, I can now afford to also put a couple sentry drones on the turrets. And there we go. We're just cleaning this up. This is pretty much in record time that uh, I'm clearing this first, first room here. Pretty crazy. Uh, one mistake, of course, I see a sentry on 
the true Sancho Foreman. He's at 12 kilometers, not gonna hit anything. But if you're unlucky with the warping, sometimes you can be five, five kilometers closer to them. Some of those frigates will be fast enough to actually get under your guns as well. And uh, that is of course when you need to do a bit more switching, possibly a little bit of traveling, a little bit of waste of time. So focus those frigates down first. Um, it's pretty important for your efficiency. Uh, after that, just I deploy a couple of hobgoblins. Once you get through the shields, these um, these loot pinatas don't have a lot of HP anymore. So I just try to approach him as much as possible. There he goes, destroyed, and I grab his loot. No drops. Um, it happens from time to time. You do get a faction drop from uh, this one as well, but it's pretty rare. In the second room, of course, you have a much better chance. So once again, we rush towards the gate get to the final room and there at this point i was like man this is going really really well my my sentry drones are doing such a good job of taking care of all of those frigates in the second room i should really do the same tactic again first take care of the frigates don't give them any chance of getting too close for your sentry drones to actually track them and uh, leave the turrets and the loot pinata for the last uh, I think it's just more efficient, you're lowering the chance that you need to switch out drones, waste time. And uh, it's been working out really well on that uh, on this occasion, as you can see right here. So just wait until you're at less than 50 kilometers uh, meters a second on your speed, otherwise you might drift away from uh, your uh, sentry drones too much. But there we go again, focusing those guys down. As you can see, single drone doing really good work on all of these frigates so that's what i'm going to focus on first i really should have started targeting here because i destroyed the first one so just keep going target 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 couple more frigates it's all good and now we also have our loot pinata at the front but yeah just take care of the rest here at first focusing on the frigates and Man, those sentry drones, look at that, one shot, less than half armor, two shots, he's gone. They just keep being destroyed so quickly, so efficiently. This was one of my best experiences in the second room for a 3 out of 10. Uh, the automatic switching was also mostly to the right targets. So all that's left now is a couple of turrets and... Um, and the loot pinata hoping again for some pretty good loot and keep in mind this was the very next site after 117 million dropped from that four out of ten so here we go we're just taking care of those guys as you can see full hits at this point those um those turrets are standing still so that's not a problem to track and all that's left now is to check out the loot so there we go again quick burst of the micro op drive to close the distance so that you're in range to loot just need a couple of hobgoblin twos they'll do the job quite nicely as explosions go off far away um, that one laser it's not necessary it's just to draw attention if you need to if you don't feel comfortable risking your drones and there we go he blows up i grab the loot and Look at that, uh, another really good piece of loot. That's like 155 million total from two sides in maybe 15 minutes or something like that. It was one of my best experiences doing exploration in the region of Domain and I want to share that with you all. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.